much more to bodybuilding than just building muscle. What happens on the inside? Character building, confidence, integrity, how to lose, how to win, the work ethic. It's not just about how you look. It really is a perfect way to, to build oneself. It's a long-term investment. It's not something that happens overnight. Every time you push your weight, it's an investment, but it's an investment in your body. And you always walk away with it. Nobody can take it away from you. That's the great thing about it. We're paying baddest in the world. Like what we can do for bodybuilding, what we can bring to bodybuilding that nobody else brought yet. Attitude and energy. Eduardo Coac. Each muscle looks like it's just packed on other muscles. It's a look as if he's ready to explode with power. There's no free space. But at the same time, I've got to be happy with what I'm doing other than just bodybuilding. See, this is a lifestyle, something that you have to live every day. So I have to keep a balance. Feel the energy. I was ready. I was so ready. I mean, it was time to do business. Train with a with a picture in my mind of the perfect physique as it relates to me. And so when I'm training, I'm picturing that perfect physique and trying to attain that. We went in the gym, we trained hard, we were in the floor every single day, going old school, uh, eat, sleep and training. To be able to train like that and endure that, it's about the mind, the mindset, that hardcore approach, grungy, tore off sweatshirts and just, you know, sweat dripping with the old school headbands around. You know, concrete floors, you know, and just the the, the, the the old equipment, half of it's tore up. Really, really zoned in and focused. Climbing under the 600 pound squats, and four or 500 pound benches, and behind the next 315. Mentally taking it to that crazy zone. And to do this, you gotta be halfway crazy. You gotta be willing to throw up in the gym. You gotta be willing to just go to that borderline crazy. The 
all do the same exercises, we all basically eat the same food. What it boils down to is how bad you want it. If you're not fired up, uh, chances are I'm going to blow you away and surpass you in much greater speed. You know how it is when you go in those hardcore gyms, the mirrors are covered with spit, but ours, I mean, we bleed all over those things, you know? It was crazy. If you didn't squat till your nose bled, then you were doing it wrong. But that's the kind of mentality, that's the kind of place I trained at. Like, you guys were hardcore. Who wants it bad enough? Who's putting the work in? Who has the less distractions, you know? Who's, who's living, eating, sleeping, breathing, and willing to sacrifice their life 